welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about Verlin noise. Verlin noise is a type of random procedural noise that was invented by Ken Perlin in the early 1980s. It is used commonly in video games as a mean of natural looking patterns. Verlin noise is based on gradient noise which assigns random gradients to each point in a grid and interpolates the values at the other points on the surrounding gradients. Berlin noise extends this idea by using a technique called smoothing to create more natural looking random patterns. Because if you use a math.random or a random number generator and you use it for your y coordinate, it will look kind of chonky and it won't have the more natural feeling you see when you look at a hill or the natural looking landscape around you. Perlin noise is often used for terrain generation what, and is used in games like Minecraft. Perlin noise is used to generate the game's terrain and make sure the terrain looks believable. In a game like No Man's Sky, Perlin noise is used to generate the game's planet, making sure that each planet is unique and has its own unique terrain. Overall, Perlin Noise is a useful tool for video game developers as it allows them to create natural looking patterns and textures in a random and controlled manner. So, how can we implement this terrain generation? Well, first, we want to have a 2D array and we'll name it Terrain. We'll add two scale, we'll add, uh, we'll add like uh, two different uh, X and Ys. So like how long and how uh, width, how much width it will have. So let's generate, let's make a function first of all. Local function, generate noise map. Because we want to generate a Perlin noise X and Y value first. So let's do local noise map equals that for x equals one size do noise map x uh, x equals this for y equals one size do. This uh, will basically generate us uh, the x and y. I still have to do noise map. x uh, and uh, y equals math dot noise x divided by scale and y divided by scale. This will give us the random noise and it'll uh, add it into the train. So after this, we got to uh, return the noise, not repeat, return noise map. Okay. We'll use this function in this other function. Uh, and we'll, this will be to create the train. Okay, local function create terrain. Local, uh, yeah, local noise map equals generate noise map. And we'll do the same thing we did up here, but a little bit differently. For x equals one size do. Terrain x equals this. Oops. Brain x equals this. For y equals one size two. And here we'll actually render and create the terrain. So let's create a new part. 
local part equals instance dot new part. After we've done that, we want to anchor the part. So part dot anchored equals true. Part bro, come on. Part dot size equals vector three dot new x times 10 noise map uh, x y times 100 and the y times 10 so now we got to do part uh part dot uh part dot size was vector three dot new ten or you can you can change it to you can change it depending on what you want but I'll do ten by ten by ten and I'll do part dot parent was game dot workspace and what you want to do right now is probably delete the base plate and put in a full put in a folder and call it generated terrain folder so part dot parent equals name dot workspace dot generated terrain folder Terrain to terrain x y was part. So now all we got to do is create terrain, hit run, and it should work. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, let's see what's wrong. So, uh, terrain equals that. Okay, I just realized the problem, and I'm super stupid, but why'd I put two sides? Part dot position, change part dot position equals vector three, waste map. And you have your generated terrain. Uh, it, it follows the Perlin noise, it uses Perlin noise to generate all this beautiful terrain. Uh, I'll make a part two and I'll show you more features like how to add uh, frequency, um, amplitude, and etc. So just leave a like and I'll post the next video if this video hits like. 10 or 15 likes. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.